Hey guys, Darlin's here, and today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about Stream Deck. Um, not talking about it in general, just showing you how to do something for it. How to make your Stream Deck look pretty, I'd say. We're going to show you how to make your Stream Deck look pretty when you're not using it. And it's just sitting there, you know. Show you how to do something with it. And what we're going to be showing you is how to make an animated wallpaper for it. And now, I'm not going to be showing you how to make an animated wallpaper, but I, I'll i just be using one. Now, you can use your own for this. And what you need is you need a, a GIF file. A GIF, a GIF, 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 whatever you want to call it. Okay. So I'm just going to call it a GIF. <laughs> so, you use a GIF wallpaper to do it. And now, I'm just going to be getting a GIF wallpaper off the internet and showing you how to put that on your stream deck and how to make a wallpaper out of it now like i said we're not i'm not showing you how to make one but you could if you want like say you've got a logo and you know how to animate stuff you could animate your logo in the adobe programs and you know you could turn it into a wallpaper get your logo animate it animate it, and then export it as a gif file and then you could do what i'm going to show you now to put it on your stream deck so if you got the know-how and you know how to make yourself a gif and animate stuff you can make yourself something pretty cool, which is what I did. I got my logo, I rotated it, and I did, like spin in and put it on my stream deck. But today, I'm just gonna be getting a random GIF offline off the internet, uh, and I'll show you what to do with it. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so we're on the computer now. Let me turn on this light. So. Originally, we were going to be doing this on Photoshop because that's how I've always done it. So I started doing my recording, and you know, I was like, okay, so things you're going to need, you're going to need Photoshop. And I was like, hang on, do you need Photoshop? Like, do you have to have Photoshop? And I was thinking, and then I said to myself, maybe there's a free version you can get. Maybe there's a, something free you can use out there where you could still do this. And then I realized, why don't I go try that out? So I did. I went and tried a free program. And you can do this. Now, there was an issue. Uh, uh, the way the program snapped stuff together wasn't that good and it wasn't doing what it needed to. So then I went ahead and made some guides. For you all to download i've put all this in um, a raw file and i'll upload it to my google drive in my youtube folder stuff and i'll uh, i'll put it it'll be in the link down below so let's get straight to it let me tell you what's what right this is what the website we're using it's free i put the link down to this website below I was originally going to be using photoshop but i tested it all out and we can do it in this now some useful info this is also in let me, um, desktop, there it is. So in here, you've got three thing, four things. You've got the size and the guides for a 6 key, 15 key, and the 32 key. Now, the size is this. The gap between, on your stream deck, the gap between each LED is 16 pixels. The box size of each box, 72 pixels. Now, these are the measurements for each... There we go. Your canvas you want to work with. So for a 6K, 248 by 160. 15K, 424 by 248. And then 32K, 688 by 336. Now, the guides have made these. I'll show you the 15K because that's what I have. That's what I'll be doing today and showing you how. These are the guides. I went ahead and made them then in Photoshop. 6k so i'll show you how to do it and what we're doing now like i said I'm not gonna be making our own gif you know we're just gonna get one off online so let's go ahead and find a gif um let's just type in gif background Hmm. 
Okay. So go ahead and download it. We're just downloading from here. Okay, let's go here to find it. Is it a GIF? It is. Right, so we've got a GIF. Or if you've made one yourself with your logo, it's fine. If we get the GIF, drag it on over in here. And you know, if you've got Photoshop, use Photoshop then. But I'm just showing on a free, something free that everyone can use. So here we are, we have a GIF. Now, we want our guide. First, before we do the guide, we need to change the image size. So, we go to image size, and we're going to change that, match it with the number. So we're doing a 15K, so we need a 15K. So the width, we want it to be 424. And then for the height, we want 248. And click OK. Boom. Now, let's get a 15K guide. Boom, as you can see. You can... You can you can see what it does, what it what it's done right for you already. Uh, as you'll see, as soon as you drag it in, it'll fit perfectly. Let's put this back on. All these, by the way, if you're wondering why you've got a bunch of stuff there, there because it's a GIF, you know, it, that's each frame, each like frame that's moving. So say you like this, and you move slightly, you know, that's the second frame. You know, these are how the GIF move. Don't worry about them. I mean, you can just minimize that like that. So, here's your boxes. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So, what do you want to do now? This is where it's going to get a bit awkward. Oh, I have picked a really hard color one, haven't I? You can see what I'm doing. You want to get that tool, and you want to grab it. This is the tedious bit. This is where you do one box and so on and so on. This is the tedious bit. Also, I'd make a folder. Let's put your GIF in, uh, which you call this test GIF. Now, you crop that just to that one block. Now, Export. Now I know we can do this in here. There we go. Right in front of me the whole time. Yep, as you can see, the width and the height is 72, which is the size of a box. Okay, so we want to save this and we're going to go to test GIF. Now, I would number everything. So, as this is the top left one, you know, row one, top left, and on the 15K, there's five, five, five. So, I'd call this one at one X, you know, for row one, one. So, one X one, then one X two, one X three, one X four, one X five, then two X one, etc. So, there's that. Now, control Z, go back. Press V. Oh, no. I guess we can't use that tool. I'm not quite used to this. Some of the buttons are a little bit different, the shortcut buttons. I just want to make sure that it fits. As you can see, I went slightly over. Can we shrink this? No, we can't. This is... This program's a bit more awkward than your normal Photoshop, but you can still do it. Boom, there we go. That's, that, that, this is what you're going to do for this bit. This is going to be tedious, so I'm just going to do this as quick as I possibly can. Just give me a moment, guys. Just want to save it as a GIF. No, you don't. No, you don't. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to crop it. Then you want to file. Then you want to export. Then you want to do it as a GIF. Save. So, one times two. Now, we're just going to speed things up here. And I'll be back for you in a minute.
guys. So, as you can see, we're practically done now. We are done. Now, that's that. As you can see, all done. Not quite. <laughs> Look what I did for number five. Three, five. Whoops, my bad. You know why that was? I didn't crop it. I didn't crop it. Okay, well, it's fine. There we go. Now we will crop image exporters. Now, what do you guys call it? Do you, do you call it a GIF or a GIF? I'm curious. GIF or GIF? Now we're done. Bump. Bum, 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 bum. So, put it on the stream deck now. Let's go and put it on the stream deck. Now, to do this, we're going to have to switch over to this computer. Because that's what this computer is my stream deck to. So, back in a moment, we'll uh, put it on the stream deck, show you how. Hey guys, now we're on this computer. So, show you how to set this up. Now, I hope this video has been useful. Um, I was, like I said, originally going to do some Photoshop, but doing it in a free program is better. Now, the way you go about doing everything I did in that program, practically the same in Photoshop. Um, the only difference that I can say, you know, everything's going to be saying the way you throw everything in there, the way you do your boxes, all that is the same. Uh, the only difference is the way you export it in Photoshop. You'd go to File, Export, and Export as Web Legacy. That's the only difference. That's how you export it, is do Web Legacy. That's it. Now, we're on this computer. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Now, the way I do it, I do I do this for myself as, like, a wallpaper. So, the way I do it is with blank text. So, all the buttons are useless. So, I've just got it on this computer. I will also include this in case anyone wants this. This will be in the link down below if anyone wants to use this. So let me get my stream deck open. Now, let's see, there's my gifts that I have. We're just gonna make a new folder. I'm just, oop, go back. We're just gonna call this uh, the test. Test. There we go. Open here. Now we want to get text files. Uh, when I remember where text files are, I have not made. I have not made a wallpaper for a while. Text, there we go. So, describe text file. Do this. Tedious, yes. See, what you do for this, it's not really hard to make yourself a wallpaper, it's just more tedious. But I have helped remove some of the tedious work by using them guides. Uh, that has removed some of the tedious work for you. So now we got these. And we go to test. And do this. Oh, no, we don't want to go back to test. Now, can I just drag and drop them? No, I can't. There we go. Select. Yep. Set from file. Create new icon. No. There we go. So go to desktop. Test. One. Same for this. So I don't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Free. You get the drift. Just do this. Four. Nope. Five. Uh, two. One. Do, 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 And this one itself was just blank. Two, three. Two, four. Two, five. Three, one. We're nearly done. Oh, stop clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> My bad. Uh, free, free. And we are done. Done. 
simple as that. That's it. You done? Now, I'm not sure if the camera will focus and pick this up. I'm not entirely sure if it will. Give me a sec. No. Mm, light is in the way. I've only got this open so I can see. As you can see. There's our GIF. And like I said, blank files. You know, what? let me go to the big camera. There we go, big camera. Better. Now, let's see if it focuses. And you can see, I got myself a little, nice little GIF. Like I said, all text files, the blanks, they don't do nothing. Apart from the back button. I do have some other ones. The other ones I've made in the past. Space ones, Game of Thrones one. But yeah, that is that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Um, like I said, I'll put down below in the down below, down below will be a link to the website I used to do it. Um, I will include the gift we've made today, in case anyone wants that. Uh, but mainly I'll include the, it's called, I named it Stream Deck Guides. And inside there you'll have four things. You'll have a text file with all the information you need on the sizes of everything. And then three PNG files, uh, six key, 15 key and 32 keys for whatever one you're doing. So you've got the sizes there for whatever Stream Deck you've got. Six to 32. You've got the sizes, what you need to make the image canvas. Um, and then you've got guides to help you. That which the guides help you a lot really because without them guides you would have to make a you would have to make a new file in Photoshop or this program you would have to make a new file uh 72 by 72 72 by 72 size and have it as a white box then you'd have to move the white box to the top left right and then you'd have to that this removes that step you just have a guide makes it makes it easier. So I hope you found it useful, guys. I hope you found the video useful. I know it's a bit different to what we normally do, but it's something I've thought about doing, so I decided we'll do this today. Yeah, that's it for the video. Appreciate you uh, being here. Appreciate you watching it. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, press the bell icon so you get notified every week. And if you want to join an amazing community, feel free to join the Discord. The link to that down below. And I stream... Every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because the schedule's changed now. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday now I stream at 9 p.m. GMT time zone. Link to that down below too. Feel free to check them out, Discord and Twitch. Take care, guys. And you have an amazing day. And as always, I wish you the best of luck. Content creation and streaming. Take care, guys. And catch you in the next video. Peace out.